Hey y'all, and thank you for coming back to another episode of Why You Telling My Business? Because I can and I'm so good at it. <laughs> okay, hey y'all, we're going to be talking about Portia Williams' sister Lauren, which is the one that's off to the left of your screen. She's going to be telling us what she believes makes the difference between Simon Gobadia and Dennis McKinley. Now, we all know, without leaving Portia, well, putting Portia out of the pasture, Lauren and her cousin Lundy wants Dennis in the picture. Yeah, Kat, I know his cheating ways, his philandering ways, but hey, for some reason, Portia would not let go of that Versace robe of his and when she found out it was gone he had left her house girl she was too fit to be died but what do y'all think do y'all think simon is a better fit for miss portia miss portia 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 okay boy i was over at house of aaron's uh <laughs> video looking at one of his videos and he was saluting uh Portia and he was breaking her down at the same time. I was like, all right now, Aaron, that's what I'm talking about. Be who you are, say what you say and let it be done. But he got on Portia ass today. I was like, oh my goodness. And one of his followers child, one of his fans got down there. <laughs> and she said well I'll just say one of Aaron's viewers. Let me put it like that. That's better off. She said, if you look at that man, he look like a gremlin. <laughs> Girl, I thought I would fall out my seat when I read that. Because I was like, what is she talking about? And then I got to thinking about the gremlin show or the gremlin <laughs> movie. And I was like, oh my God, that man do look like the gremlin. <laughs> I was too tickled. I was too tickled. So if y'all ever want to go over there, honey, House of Aaron, go check him out if you dare. Uh, I kind of like him. He's a, he's a straight shooter. He's a Porsche lover, though. But he is funny, funny, funny. But honey, can't nothing take the place of his some of his uh, viewers of his show. <laughs> They be tearing his behind up over there when they be talking about Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. I was like, oh my God, they be tearing him up in those comments. And I was like, oh Lord, they need to just chill. <laughs> they need to chill. But it, her name or her um, YouTube name is JMM55. Shout her out, honey. Shout her out on my channel. I got to. Because when she said <laughs> that. Woo! Simon looked like a gremlin. <laughs> just took the cake. I couldn't get over myself. That was just so funny. That was just so funny, y'all. But let me get myself together. Let me transpose myself back. But I just, you know, I was letting my dad come home from work today. I said, some of his viewers, they just tripped me out in them comments. Lord have mercy. But anyway, shout out to Miss Lady. Miss Lady JMM55. Okay. We're going back to, to this little thing right we were talking about. Okay. Kind of got off cue. Y'all know how I do sometimes. Bear with your auntie. <laughs> Grandmama, y'all see me. Or uh, cousin. However you see me, children. However you see me. But Lauren was on somebody's platform i just had it too god dog it she was basically giving her synopsis or her perspective of what she felt about um portia and her two men she trying to hold down and she's not doing very well with doing that because simon is a fool if he sit there and let um, Portia make a fool out of him, you know, trying to hold, well, trying to burn both candles at, well, trying to burn a candle at both ends type of scenario. 
And, you know, it just is what it is. I think it's a bad storyline. Um, but we're going to follow it through to the end. Because, yes, Dennis has a way of uh, philandering with the women. You know, he just loves women, you know. But I'm pretty sure uh, Portia knew that before she got involved with him. And she definitely should have been taking uh, precautions. Birth control, uh, using the condom, something to that effect. But like I said, she chose to get pregnant because there are so many ways to keep pregnancy from happening. Now, if you, he's wearing a rubber, you using that, uh, we call it spermicide, and, and you on the pill or whatnot, you're doing everything, you still come up pregnant, then yeah child that's a miracle baby you just need to sit there and just take care of that baby whatever because that child was meant to be him now if you have taking your pills not on your pills and you still having sex raw and when i say raw i'm talking about with no protection no no rubber no condoms on none of that nature so when you hitting it like that of course you're gonna come up pregnant but honey hello and love her so some dennis um Lauren's side of the family love herself some den. They love themselves some Dennis. Lundy, that's uh, Portia's cousin. Uh, she loves herself some Dennis as well. And you know Dennis. You know he he gonna look out for his mama come what may, cause he don't trust Portia's mama side of the family at all. Okay, but it, and just looking at the story from last night, you can definitely see why. Cause I'm sorry. That family, yeah, you need to quit start, quit starting stuff. That's what you need to do, Portia. Quit starting stuff. Give Dennis back his role. That was a whole big deal other than Portia's mama sitting up there last night on the show. Acting like she going to do something. Get somebody told in a grown folks fashion. And then she going to exit the stage left, right, and in the middle. Meaning she like go. She wasn't there at this retreat. Now, she show up on her own. Then we can see what she got to tell us. But other than that, in my eyes, she's a coward. You don't talk behind people back and won't be up there to say it in front of their face. You see what I'm saying? That's a true woman. But... We ain't knocking all the doors down with Diane. I don't think she's firing on all cylinders either. Uh, and I can see why Portia is the way that she is. But going on into this story. Um, Jocelyn Venia wrote this. Uh, Vina wrote this article up for the Daily Dish for Bravo. They titled it, Portia Williams' Sister Lauren Reveals What Makes Simon Gabadia Different from Dennis McKinley. Well, I can tell you. Then it's a little bit more easy on the eyes than Gremlin over there. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, it's kind of looking like that Gremlin on that uh, movie that we saw way back in the 80s, I think it was. But anyway, <clears throat> she goes in to say the season of getting is upon, well, the seasons of getting is upon us. Bravo fans were ju gifted juicy first looks at upcoming episodes. All new after shows, exciting shows, excitement, and more. Stay tuned. Over the years, fans have watched as Portia Williams tried to find the one she has shared her ups and downs in romance department. But she is, of course, very much in a great place in her romantic life these days. And now with Real Housewives of Atlanta, Portia family values of Portia Family Matters viewers are going inside her relationship with her fiance Simon Gabadia. Okay, yeah, the Gremlin Man. <laughs> That's what he, he ain't gonna be known as SG or Simon or Gabadia. No, 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 no. Thanks to one of Aaron's supporters, and she's on my channel too. She supports me as well. He's the Gremlin. <laughs> he is the Gremlin. All right. <clears throat> But anyway, uh, fans are also excited uh, getting a chance to see how she and ex Dennis McKinley are navigating life and co-parenting their daughter, Pilar Johanna. In a video shared exclusively with Bravo Insiders members during the seasons of getting uh, Portia's sister Lauren Williams and Aunt Lisa spill all about their feelings on all things Portia and Simon. Now, I don't know about Aunt Lisa. Who is Aunt Lisa? I, I remember Aunt Liz. Maybe that was a misprint. But going on. Um, 
getting their feelings on all things Portia and Simon, including Lauren, revealing what makes Simon different from Dennis. Okay, I think that Simon definitely provides a sense of security to Portia. Okay, I think a lot of people think it has to do with money, but honestly, it's more so his maturity and his age because Dennis has money too. But Dennis was young. Dennis was still in the clubs, you know, without her. And I think Simon takes her to the clubs with him. Well, I beg to differ. <coughs> because while Portia was on her uh, book tour when she was here in Atlanta, <laughs> homeboy was out there with some white Caucasian woman, probably a slew of other uh, ethnic women in the, in the club. And he was looking at, I don't know, some on the TV screen. Hell, it could have been... Well, P Porsche's family matters being viewed, but Porsche was nowhere to be seen. And to me, he should have been there. He should have been her bodyguard because recently she just had a book signing. And them PETA people was up there, the PETA organization, uh, Protecting Animals organization was up there. And she was showing out, taking all of Porsche's shine at that bookstore to some women call herself running the woman out call themselves running the woman out but see dennis has always been there he's been a solid rock you see what i'm saying he was out there at the march when i think it was was the brianna taylor i think <coughs> she was um marching for and some other um <coughs> uh minority black uh people that got slain uh, because of the police situation. Okay, so she was up there really focusing on Bri uh, Brianna Taylor and her, their family members and, and just trying to bring much, much, much awareness to something that seems to be very uh, much uh, harassing and, and, and exposing more black people to harm and danger uh, in the men in blue or the woman in blue, both of them. But uh, going back to the article, it says... Um, and I think Simon takes her to the close with him. He travels a lot, but she goes with him. Lauren reveals in the clip above. And I'm like, nah, Lauren, because, again, he was in Costa Rica, uh, uh, Turks and Caicos doing some stuff. Um, <clears throat> and Portia wasn't there. So, no, I think that was because the show needed to be launched and put into uh, view, viewers' minds, get the perception of the show until the show came on. Now, homie just doing whatever he want to do, okay? Ain't nobody paying him no mind because ain't nobody standing him, okay? <clears throat> but going back to the article, it says, um, long reveals in the clip above. So, I think she feels a sense of security uh, in the way. <sighs> that he's handling the relationship and how upfront he was about like oh i want to be with you now you are who i chose and all that stuff and so having her that sense of security i've definitely seen her be more at ease <laughs> no she ain't more at ease lauren she is not more at ease because she be making up videos running around here showing ridiculous things you know like that cooking spiel she was doing when she was trying to cook a meal for simon a breakfast and she was sitting up there with them gloves on knowing them gloves was supposed to be on the shelf's table letting him do his little thing with the meats and stuff or it could have been you know doing somebody hair at the hair salon the nails and the feet people doing something with them it didn't have no business being on her hands at the time because they also showed in that scene last night that she was cooking pj something that morning for breakfast and guess what she ain't having on she did not have on them gloves she had her hands up there like normal people would do when they're in their own kitchen cooking okay but going back to the article it says to hear more from lauren and lisa I think she meant to say Liz about their reactions to the engagement, their advice for Simon now that he's marrying Portia and how they feel Portia would be as a stepmom to Simon's kids. Okay, and it says check out the video. And I don't see the video. But I'm shoot, we don't need no video. We just trying to say, look a here, look a here. Who does it better? Do Dennis does it better? And I ain't just talking about in the bedroom, people. I ain't talking about in the bedroom. I'm talking about do uh, Dennis gets the job done on all the fronts other than him just being a cheater. Or can we say do Simon gets the job done uh, relating to Portia and their comings and goings? Well, I can tell you one thing. If uh, Gabadi is supposed to be, no, nope, the gremlin, I'm sorry. The gremlin is supposed to be down for her like four flat tires. Where was he when she was on the Tamron Howe show up in New York? 
where was he when that lady called herself demonstrating how Portia was wearing fur up there, even though it was a fur jacket, coat, uh, shawl. I don't know really what it was. Seemed like it was a more of a cardigan type style jacket that had fur on there. And I was like, Portia better be glad they ain't throw paint on her or flour or something to that degree to mess that up. Uh, <coughs> expressing how they felt about Portia wearing something that, you know, an animal's life was sacrificed for her to have that luxury. So, where was Simon? Where was uh, Portia's bodyguard? I mean, big, brusquely, burly men. You know what I'm saying? Like them men in black or them men that be at Louis Vuitton store with the shades on, looking all cool and GQ. But you know you better not cross them because you might get smacked upside your head. <laughs> they might put you down to the blow child and say, say uncle, say uncle. But you know. <laughs> Then yank your butt up off the floor and call the cops on your behind. But, you know, where was the security for Portia? Okay, left wide open, okay? He wasn't there with her in the audience at Tamara Hall when she was getting drilled by Tamara. I mean, the Joker wouldn't know where to be around. Now, you see anybody that got shades on? Do you see anybody in that stadium that I think they were watching a house game at the time? Do you see anybody? No, you just see that one gremlin up there got the shades on. Like, he just too cool. He can't be touched. I'm like, man, please. There you go with the shades again. But it's more appropriate because he's out on the sea. It's you know when you're on a yacht you you know sometimes the sun do reflect and you don't want to you know it be in your eyes and stuff like that. But that gremlin I can't take it. I mean both of them are bald headed. You know, like I said, one's younger, one's older, one's decrepit in the memory. The other one just loses memory when you were asked about his infractions. And I'm like, what is beautiful Portia going to do? Well, honey, I'm like, make yourself be better than your parents, okay? Especially your mama. Especially your mama. But like I said, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. And if she likes the way she lives life, then so be it. But when you live it out in public and you flaunt it all over the social media realms, people going to pick it up. And I'm not talking about just small YouTubers or fairly large YouTubers. I'm talking about the media the 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 real big people television um people that actually do journalism news you know uh on it so i'm like child please get it together portia get it together leave it alone baby leave it alone but you get extra hurt and not by dennis but by uh the gremlin okay but you see more you just can't think it out through but get with somebody get with somebody that can tell you something on the outside looking in so they can give you a fresh perspective i'm not they're not your enablers not nobody that's around you all the time that's willing to say what you want them to say so they can still be in that limelight with you but somebody that's unbiased that can really tell you what's the goods what's the good things and what's the bad things the pros and the cons and what you should be accepting in your life Especially with you being 40. Girl, you just 10 more years from 50 if you are blessed to see it. And you'll be done half lived a century on this earth. Now, do you want your legacy to be portrayed as how you portray yourself out here to get money for your daughter? I don't know. That's the question. But y'all get down in those comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about. Is Portia a better fit? Or are the men she's around better fitted to her? And who, which one would y'all choose for her? Okay, if you had to. Get down in them comments and let me know. But that's it for this particular video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Go ahead. It don't cost you nothing. And you, I'm sure you'll get a laugh. You'll get a kiki. You'll get something out here before you leave. You probably won't get a headache. But, you know, if you do, it probably wasn't for you. But maybe, hey, come back next time. You might get a chuckle. You might get a laugh. Or you might get some wisdom nuggets dropped on to you that you could take with you for the rest of your life. Okay? And... <laughs> Please like my videos, please share my videos, please share my videos and like them, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.